Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to talk about duplicates. How to find duplicates, whether in one single column or in a list where I'm looking at duplicate records. And then how to remove these duplicates. We'll be exploring different methods for removing duplicates. And finally, I'll be talking about how to prevent the user from entering duplicate values in a list. So let's start with this worksheet where I have a list of names. Some of the names are entered more than once. And to find out the duplicate values, I click and drag to select the range of names. I go to conditional formatting. We have five built-in conditional formatting rules. I go with the first one, highlight set rule. And from the submenu, I go down to duplicate values. And immediately, even before making any selection, you can see that the duplicate values are highlighted. I have a drop list on the right hand side where I can change the formatting. I selected a green color. And when I hit OK, now I can see that Michael has been entered more than once and Tom is entered more than once. Should you wish to remove the conditional formatting rule, then you select the range another time. You go to conditional formatting drop list on the home tab. At the bottom of the menu, you select clear rules, clear rules from selected cells. In my next example, I want to highlight the records where I have duplicate values in the region and manager. So whenever I have the same exact combination, the same region and the same manager, I want the record to be highlighted. Then in this case, I have to create a formula. And to do that, I'm going to select the entire list, starting from cell A3. I select the top row. And to extend my selection, I hit Shift, Control, Down, Arrow. And to jump back to the top, I hit Control, Backspace. I want to create a rule from the perspective of the active cell, the cell from which I started my selection. And to do that, on the Home tab, I click on Conditional Formatting, and I'll be selecting New Rule. The New Formatting Rule dialog box opens, and from here I'll be selecting Use a Formula. And because I have more than one condition, then I need to wrap them in an AND function. The AND function can accommodate multiple logical tests. So I'll be typing equal AND, and I open bracket. What's your first logical test? My first logical test is to ask, is this region in cell B3 the region corresponding to the active cell? And because the rule will be traveling in memory to all the cells in the range, and I need to lock the column but not the row. So I hit F4 twice, and I'm asking, is it equal to my selection in cell H1? And I click on H1. H1 is a drop list, so at any time I can change my condition. And then I hit comma. I finish with the first condition. What's your second logical test? My second logical test is to look at the name of the manager in the top row corresponding to the active cell. And I hit F4 twice to lock the column, but not the row. And then I ask, is it equal to the name of the manager in cell K1? And then I close the bracket. And I would have finished creating my formula. How would you like to format the duplicate records? I click on Format. And from here, I can go to the Fill tab. And I'll be selecting, let's say, an orange fill color. When I hit OK twice, the duplicate records will be highlighted. The highlighted records have the same region and the same manager. So I can locate them. Now, if I change, let's say I change to East, I might find some duplicates in this case, but it looks like I don't have many. So what if I type Chris and then I hit Enter? Now these are considered duplicates in the region and in the manager, and I was able to locate the duplicate records based upon the condition I specify. In many situations, you might want to remove the duplicate values and keep only one single instance of the record. So let's see the next example where we talk about removing records having duplicates in more than one column. I click on the next worksheet where I have the same exact setup. I select any single cell in the list 
and this time I want to go to the data tab of the ribbon. On the data tab, I'll be clicking on Remove Duplicates. Look what happens when I click on Remove Duplicates. Excel will be able to recognize the entire list. With the entire list selected, I want to uncheck all the column headers, so I click on Unselect All, and I'm looking for duplicates, let's say, in the region and in the manager. When I have the same exact combination, the same region and the same manager, I could add some other columns as well, like the same customer if I wish. But for now, I'll keep it only for the region and manager. And then when I hit OK, now the duplicate records having the same region and the same manager have been removed and the remaining records are 20 unique records. In many situations, that's not what I want to do. I want to remove duplicates from one single column. So let's see the next example where I want to remove the duplicates from the region column. Let's say I want to remove the duplicates and create a unique list of regions in preparation for creating a drop list. Then I don't want to mess up my original list. And in this situation, I'll be creating an advanced filter. So I select the region and then still on the data tab, but I'll click this time on advanced. The advanced filter dialog box opens and the list range highlights the entire list. I need to change that and select only the region. So I'll backspace and then I select the region and to extend my selection down, I hit shift control down arrow and I hit control backspace to jump back to the top. I want to extract the list in another location. So I select the radio button, copy to another location. Now the copy to box is highlighted. I put my blinking cursor here and I select the destination. The most important thing is to check the box for unique records only. And when you do that, and then you hit OK, you will get a unique list of regions. You can do it for any other column if you wish in preparation for creating data validation drop list. I can also use a different technique for extracting a unique list of values. So in the next worksheet, I want to extract a unique list of managers, let's say, and I'll be using a pivot table to do that. To create a pivot table, I select any single cell in my list, and then I go to the Insert tab of the ribbon. I can use the shortcut Alt and V, or to the left side of the Insert tab, I click on Pivot Table. I want to create my pivot table in the same worksheet, so from the wizard, I'll be selecting Existing Worksheet. Let's select a destination in column G, and then when I hit OK, I see the pivot table placeholder, and I see the pivot table field list. I want to create a unique list of managers, so all what I need to do in the pivot table is to drag the manager and drop it in the rows area. Automatically, Excel extracts a unique list of managers. I don't need the pivot table field list anymore, so I'm going to close it. If I wish to bring it back, I click on field list on the right side of the analyze tab. Here is my pivot table. I want to get rid of the grand total. I want to change the row labels and bring the manager label instead. So I do that on the design tab. I click on design and to the left side of the design tab, click on the down arrow of grand totals and I'll turn it off for the rows and columns. To bring the label here at the top, then on the Design tab, I click on Report Layout, and from the menu, I select Show in Tabular Form, and now I have the label, and I have a unique list of managers. If you have Office 365, there is a much easier way of doing that and extracting a unique list of values. So in my next worksheet, and because I'm using Office 365 for this tutorial, I'm going to extract a unique list of regions. I start by copying this label, Control C and Control V, and in the cell below, I'll be using one of the dynamic array functions, equal unique. As the name indicates, it extracts a unique list of values from an array. Where is that array? I select the first value under region, I extend my range shift control down arrow. I jump back to the function by hitting control backspace. That's all what I need. 
I close the bracket, and when I hit enter, although I'm creating one single function, but it will spill to the adjacent cells, so when I hit enter, I get a unique list of regions. We learned how to find duplicates, and then we learned how to remove duplicates, but it will be extremely useful if we know how to prevent entering duplicates, so originally, the user will not be able to enter duplicate values. So to prevent entering duplicates, I'll go to the next worksheet, and let's understand the concept. In column C, I have a list of regions, no duplicates so far, but I would like to prevent a user from typing a duplicate value. So I'm going to create a function that counts how many occurrence of each region do I have in column C. It's a count if function, equal count if, and then I hit tab. Where is the range where you want to count? So I'll be selecting column C, and then I hit comma. What's your condition? My condition, from the perspective of this cell, will be the first region in cell C3. So when I close the bracket, and because I'm counting, it's returning 1. So I want to convert it to a true or false. So I'm going to select the same cell one more time, hit F2 to put it in the edit mode, and I'm asking, is it equal to 1? And when I hit enter, I would have created my rule. This function is returning a true or false. So when the region is entered once, that returns a true, when the region has not been used, it's returning a false. Now let's create a rule in column A that prevents entering the same manager name more than once in the list under managers. And to do that, I'll be selecting the range where I want to create my rule. This is a data validation rule. And then I can go to the data tab and click on data validation. Alternatively, I can use the shortcut Alt-D-L. The data validation dialog box opens. What would you like to do? I want a custom formula. I can click under allow and select custom, or I can use the shortcut Tab-C-Tab. And automatically, my blinking cursor is in the formula box, and I'll be creating my formula equal count if, and then I open bracket, where is the range to count? It's in column A. I select the entire column, and then I hit comma. What's your condition? My condition is the first value under manager. I close the bracket and I'm asking, is it equal one? If it returns it true, then you cannot enter the same name one more time. When I hit OK, I would have created my conditional formatting rule. Now let's test. What if I type Tom? Tom is not in the list, so I don't have any problem typing Tom. What if I type Nabil? Nabil is already in the list. So if I type Nabil, a message pops up saying that you cannot use this value. You can customize the message box if you want, but I'm going to hit cancel. If you look at the list, you will know that Lisa is already entered twice. That's because I entered it before creating my data validation rule. If you want to check the previous values, then you go to the data tab of the ribbon, and then you click on the down arrow for data validation, and then select circle invalid data. Automatically, it highlights the values that violate the rule. If you want to remove the circles, you go to the same drop list, and this time you will be selecting clear data validation circles. What happens if I delete Lisa and I try to retype it one more time? Excel will not allow me to do that. It respected the values that were already there, but if I delete Lisa and I try to type it one more time, if I hit enter, I get the same alert message saying, you cannot use this name because it already exists in the list and I was able to prevent the user from entering duplicate values in a list.